Now, whether it's for building Garuda, the newest Warframe we have right now, or for increasing your reputation with Little Duck in Fortuna, who you can actually find behind Udico, the Bounty Kivel, on the right hand side, the three Toroid resources are something you're going to want to get your hands on. But when you first jump out into the cold of Orvalis, you're not going to know where to go to actually farm these efficiently. So this video will hopefully help you out. It is a quick and to the point guide of where to go to farm the three different variants of those toroids. The Vega toroid, the Calda toroid, and of course the Solar toroid. Now you will need two of each of these to build Garuda's main parts, her chassis, her systems, and her helmets. And each one will also give you 1000 reputation or standing with Little Duck, of course, which will then allow you to buy some of the new Tenno armor sets until they add more rewards and different standing ranks with Little Duck in a few weeks time. Now, these toroids can show up in caves around or Valis if you're searching those caves in the same way that the Ayatan sculptures do in normal missions, but that's not a a very effective way to go about actually farming them. You want to max out that potential and get as many of them as you possibly can. So on the Orb Valis map, which you're seeing right now, there are three different locations where these items will drop from enemies that you kill in that corpus base. Top left is an area called the Temple of Prophet. This is where the solar toroids drop. Just keep killing enemies and eventually they will drop. Over on the left near the Pearl is an area called the Enrichment Labs. Enemies killed here have a chance to drop the Clada toroids. And on the bottom right, we have the spaceport. Enemies killed here have a chance to drop the Vega toroids. Now, in order to maximize your farming potential, you should try and raise your wanted level up to at least three stars. At maybe four, it could be a little bit annoying due to the amount of bubbles that spawn in with enemies, but it is still really manageable. Now, the more stars that you have, it means more enemies will spawn in. And of course, the enemies that spawn in uh, kind of scale infinitely as well, but it will also increase your chances of getting as many of these drops as possible. Now, when we were doing it on the stream, if any of you watched it, you will have seen that we brought a Desecrate Necros. We also brought a Spaghetti Nidus, using that larva to pull as many enemies into a group as possible, so we didn't have to run around picking all of these drops up, and we all had resource boosters as well. Now, the Smita Kavat with their buffs, I'm not sure whether that works or not in terms of the resources. I'm sure it does, but we had some UI issues yesterday where we had to log back out because a lot of the buffs weren't showing on screen. So again, Temple of Profit for the Solar Toroids, Enrichment Labs for the Clada Toroids, and the Spaceport for the Vega ones along with having three or four stars of that wanted level in order to increase those enemy spawns. Now, we know that these toroids are being used to craft Garuda and of course Little Duck Reputation, and we know that we can't fight those huge or mother spiders yet. Hopefully in a few weeks they're going to add that in and we can actually do battle with them. And when that happens, it is being hinted at that the Vox Solaris ranks with Little Duck will be increased and we will see a lot more rewards or offerings in order to spend these items on. So farm as many of these toroids as you possibly can before that time happens because who knows what we're going to be actually able to buy and you're going to want to rank up to the next ranks once that happens as well. Whether it's going to be some kind of new amps or different weapon types for Tenno or maybe Arcanes or whatever, who knows. So happy hunting, happy farming. Hopefully this video has helped you out in some way. I will have a fishing and mining video up in the next few days. Later on, I'm going to be streaming again for maybe six or seven hours. So feel free to stop by and say hello. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.